Hi everybody, uh, please forgive the not great quality of my mic, I'm not in the studio today, I'm just recording from home uh, and this was a little bit impromptu so I'm making do with the equipment I've got. Uh, this is Jamie Evans, the creator and co-showrunner of Haunted the Audio Drama and I wanted to drop you guys a quick message to first of all say a massive thank you to each and every one of you those of you who have been with us since the show launched in March of 2022, those of you who've discovered us along the way, even if you've only discovered us recently, whether you went back to the beginning of the show and started from scratch, or if you've just picked things up in recent weeks, thank you, every single person who has listened to this show. When we started this show, we... We always had high ambitions for it, but we we were quite restrictive on those ambitions. Uh, I think because either we had a lack of confidence in ourselves, or we were trying to be realistic, uh, which I know is a, a terrible word when it comes to creativity. We thought we would get some, somewhere in the range of 10,000 downloads in the first season. Uh, which is not a lot when you consider that the first season of Haunted is something like 36 episodes long. So 10,000 really isn't that much. The fact that our audience has continued to grow, and particularly in the last two months, has grown quite substantially, is incredible amazing i fail to come up with the words to adequately express how thankful both myself and benton are to everyone who's giving this show a chance there is nothing more rewarding as a creator than people listening to or viewing or reading, or whatever your medium is, people consuming your stuff and engaging with it. It absolutely blows us away every time someone contacts us on social media and makes an in-joke about the show or references a part that they really liked. And believe it or not, we even like the we even like the feedback that's more critical. I think there's sometimes an assumption that people don't want to hear negative reviews and things like that. Maybe some people don't. Um, for us, the the difference has always been between feedback that is constructive and feedback that's needlessly nasty. No one needs needlessly nasty feedback. But when people are actually just giving their opinion and, you know, saying things like, this bit didn't quite work for me because of X, Y, and Z, I, I think I can speak for most creatives when I say people love to hear that. Anyway, that was the first thing I wanted to do, was just say... An absolutely incredible, heartfelt thank you to everyone. It is a privilege to be able to make this show for you. And I know that probably sounds weird because it's a lot of hard work and we don't get paid for it. And it's, it's huge amounts of time out of our lives. But like I said, there really is nothing more satisfying as a creative... Especially when, like me, you know, I've been writing for at least 10 years now. And until Haunted, pretty much everything I ever wrote, either I never put it anywhere for anyone to see, and it has just sat in a drawer, or we did put it out there, um, like I put some short stories out into the world, and nothing really came of them. No one really read them or anything like that. And that's fine. That's fair enough. It's an incredibly competitive market. And there's such a, a wide 
a variety, uh, a cornucopia, dare I say, of content and amazing, amazing works of creativity, um, that it really is a privilege just to have people listen. So thank you for that. What I also wanted to do was tell you a little bit about what you can expect when the show returns from its mid-season break. So, with the end of Darkness Falls Part 4, Haunted is now going on a very short mid-season break. It will be returning on the 1st of October. The general public, it will continue to release as the standard format that it currently releases in. For our Patreon supporters, you will actually get a double release on the 1st of October uh, to make sure that you get ahead again. The show returns with an episode written by Benton called Triptych. Uh, Triptych is a very interesting episode. It's our first Dan-centric episode. Um, James and Abigail are still in the episode, but they're sort of more in the background as they deal with the fallout of what happened at the end of Darkness Falls Part 4. And Dan is really the focus of that episode. That is then followed by our third and final guest-written entry for Season 2, The Dark Menagerie, written by Aidan Barker-Dean. That is an all-out, just insane uh, bottle episode. It's all confined to one location for the most part, a small cast of characters... And I can't really say much about it without spoiling it, except that it is probably the most extreme episode we've ever done of the show. It's the first episode we've ever done where we uh, we think we're actually going to have to put trigger warnings at the front of it, because some of the content in it is very uh, pushing the envelope, let's say. Following this is The Cry of the Abyss, written by myself. Uh, This is an episode that you definitely don't want to miss because it provides a lot of the next set of clues in the ongoing mystery at the centre of the show. A lot of clues towards Project Indigo and James Hunter's past. The show will then go on another very brief break just over Christmas. We figured you guys probably needed a little break over the Christmas bank holiday uh, for uh, from horror and gore and things like that. In early January, the show returns again with The Death of the Author, written by Benton. Again, it's a fantastic episode. I'm very, very proud of that episode. Um, and I, I know Benton is as well. It's a fantastic script, and I can't wait for you all to hear that one. The show then rounds out with two episodes that follow on back-to-back from each other. The Children of Little Hope and End of the Road, Uh, Together, that's eight parts that basically forms the end of Season 2. Everything that we've been building in Season 2 will come to a head at that point. Um, The gang will confront Mother Marwood again. And we will get the truth behind Project Indigo. I can't say anything beyond that at this point. uh, Other than to say that there are plans in place um we unless something terrible happens unless all of a sudden everyone decides they don't want to listen to the show anymore we 100 percent intend to go beyond season two but that's just to give you an idea of what you can expect when the show returns thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this thank you so much for taking the time to listen to the show we really appreciate anyone who who listens to the show adds us on social media, uh, likes the show on Spotify or iTunes or whatever, um, and leaves reviews as well. Reviews are fantastic. They're so critical to getting the show out there. Just thank you so, so much. Please enjoy the little two-week break that we're taking. I hope everyone's having a lovely September. Uh, If you're in the UK, I hope you're enjoying the uh, sudden revival of summer that we're having uh, with the hot weather. 
and we will see you all again on the 1st of October for Triptych Part 1.